If you want to know the best out of all the Montal fragrances, here you go. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella and this is Bella's Perfume Diaries. If this is your first time of stumbling on this channel, Perfume Diaries is a series where we'll talk about perfumes, a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle. So if this is the kind of content you would like, please click that subscribe button and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in once again. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about one of the longest lasting fragrances from Montal. Even though Montal is known for making fragrances that are long lasting, heavy projecting and heavy heaters basically. But this is one of the top from their fragrances. And the fragrance I'll be talking about is no other than Arabian Tonka from Montal. If you want to know the best out of all the Montal fragrances, here you go. This is the best out of the best. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this gold packaging. It has this horse in front, the brand Montal, the name Arabian Tonka down here. This is a 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounce. At the side is just the plain gold packaging. You have all the details at the back of the fragrance. So when you open it up, the fragrance comes in this pouch and I love that about Montal fragrances. So it just basically has the Montal logo on it and then it has Montal here. This packaging is actually very durable and perfect for storing perfume. The fragrances actually come in a canister bottle. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has this stopper too up here. Since the fragrance doesn't have a cap, so this stopper kind of helps the fragrance not to spray so much i just love this packaging it's simple and you know very durable so the main accords of arabian Tonka are sweet vanilla amber oud warm spicy rose musky aromatic metallic and powdery the fragrance is described as an amber woody fragrance for women and men so this is totally unisex the top notes are saffron and bergamot Middle notes are agar wood, which is wood, and Bulgarian rose. Base notes are sugarcane, tonka bean, amber, white musk, and oak moss. So when you spray this fragrance at first, it starts up with that sugar. Even though it has sugarcane in the base notes, but I get this sweet sugary scent in the top. And then the saffron comes in, which kind of makes it a little bit soft and floral, kind of toning down that sweetness a little bit. So it doesn't make it sickly sweet this thick heavy jammy rose starts to come in which just makes it like a beautiful floral sugary sweet scent and then it settles into this tonka bean amber and vanilla goodness first of all when i saw arabian tonka i already associated it with an oud scent like maybe a heavy oud scent and for the fact that the perfume comes in a black bottle a lot of people would probably think that it's a heavy oud scent but guys i get more of tonka i get more of that sweetness that um, creaminess that sexiness in the fragrance that doesn't really necessarily remind me of an Arabian perfume or like an Oudi perfume so I don't know if they, were, they misled us with the color of the bottle or the name of the fragrance I'm guessing the Arabian in the name gives it this heaviness and this punch because Arabian fragrances are known for you know giving longevity fragrances that will last 24 hours plus that's probably what the Arabian in this Arabian Stonka is doing. But I get more of a sensual fragrance, more of a floral, sweet um, Tonka bean with some sexiness. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I see this as a unisex fragrance that leans slightly feminine than masculine. In comparison to other fragrances, I would say this fragrance is a mixture of Roses Vanille, or Intense Cafe by Montal, which you basically smell alike. So let's just say that DNA and Baccarat Rouge 540. If you mix the two together, that is basically Arabian Tonka in 
a bottle. This fragrance has heavy projection with minimum of 12 hours longevity. I love the fact that it is a heavy heater fragrance that is not overpowering. It is a sexy unisex fragrance for a man, for a woman. This fragrance is very versatile. You can wear it for an outdoor event because obviously it's a heavy heater so it's going to project around you. You can wear it for sexy date night. I feel that this fragrance, you wear it dressed up wherever you are going to but you should be dressed up because it is not a casual scent but i love the fact that they, there is a mix of baccarat rouge 540 and intense cafe in this so just imagine them mixing two sexy fragrances together to create magic it is such an amazing combination so if you're looking for an amazing fragrance to start with from montal i would suggest that you start with arabian stonka from the house of montal so that's my review on arabian stonka from Montal. Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Would you love to try it? Let me know in the comment section as well. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this episode. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, drop your sense of the day in the comment section or love to connect with you in the comment section. Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode. Bye! Please click that subscribe button and join the family. Thank you guys for tuning to Bella's Pep. And then while the um while the